Hey guys, in this video I'm going to assemble a DIY component tester kit. This product was sent to review from Banggood and you can find a link to the product page in the video description. Let's open the package. Inside you have all the components you need to build the component tester. These are all through all components, so they are fairly easy to solder, even if you don't have much experience. Also, the PCB is well labeled so you know exactly where to solder each component. For example, here is where you place the 80 mega microcontroller and here the LCD. The place to solder each resistor is also clearly labeled in the PCB. If you don't want to solder, there's also a version of this kit that comes pre-assembled. I started by identifying each resistor with a multimeter and label it. Resistors with the same value are grouped together. For example, this is a 470 ohm resistor, so all the others attached have the same value. Repeat the same process for all the resistors in the kit, and then start soldering. After soldering all the resistors, cut their leads at the back. Here's how my PCB looks at the moment. Then you can add the smaller components, like capacitors, the crystal, transistors and the LED. Leave the taller components to solder at the end. After soldering everything, insert the microcontroller on the other pins. Then connect the LCD to the pins and use the screws to mount it. Apply power to the component tester using a 9V battery. The first time you use it you need to follow a calibration procedure. To start the calibration mode you need to short pins 1, 2 and 3 with 2 wires. You can do it like this. Then press the button and let the self-test mode begin. After a few seconds you'll see this message on the screen saying to isolate probes. At this point, remove the wires. Finally, when it prompts this message, you need to insert the extra capacitor that came in the kit into pins 1 and 3. Let it run for a few more seconds until the calibration is done. Now we can start testing the components. The component tester is able to identify and measure different components like resistors, transistors, MOSFETs, capacitors, inductors and diodes. The socket has three pins. The first three columns are for pin 1, the fourth column is for pin 2 and the last three columns are for pin 3. To test your components make sure each lead is connected to a different pin. For example, if you are testing a resistor you can connect one lead to pin 1 and the other lead to pin 2 or instead you can use pin 1 and 3 or pin 2 and 3, but the two leads can't be connected to the same pin. We tested different resistors and it works quite well, it even identifies a 10 mega ohm resistor. When testing diodes and LEDs it shows which is the positive and negative lead as well as the forward voltage. The transistors had no problem identifying. It also identified MOSFETs. Finally, you can test both ceramic and electrolytic capacitors, but make sure they are discharged, otherwise you may damage your component tester. Keep in mind that if you try a voltage regulator it will not work, and some transistors might also not be properly identified. This kit has a few more functionalities that you can use. If you go to the menu you can change the contrast, generate square waves, generate PWM pulses with a signal generator and it also has a frequency meter function. After testing this kit, I think it identifies very well each component and it gives a very approximate value of their main specification. Auxiliary values like VLOS, ESR sometimes are correct and other times are way off. However, I think this component tester works quite well and for the price point is a good addition to your lab. 
Click the first link in the video description to read our review at makeradvisor.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.